Greece will not default. PM Cyprus New Greek PM Alexis Cyprus says his country will not default on its debts. Addressing his first cabinet meeting since Sunday's victory, Mr. Tsipras said he would negotiate with creditors over the euro's 240 BN pounds, 179 BN dollars, 270 BN bailout. We won't get into a mutually destructive clash, but we will not continue the policy of subjection, said the left-wing sir as a party leader. The EU has warned his government to stick to its commitments. The default could force Greece out of the euro as the newly elected leader of the radical left party made his inaugural cabinet speech. Greek government bond yields rose to near record levels, reflecting investors' concerns about short-term risks of a debt restructuring over the coming months. The Greek stock market fell 6.4%. Greece has endured tough budget cuts in return for its 2010 bailout, negotiated with the so-called Troika, the European Union, International Monetary Fund IMF and European Central Bank ECB. The economy has shrunk drastically since the 2008 global financial crisis, and increasing unemployment has thrown many Greeks into poverty. Line analysis. Mark Lowen, BBC News. Athens Alexis Tsipras sought to strike a balance, defiant about negotiating debt relief from the Eurozone, while reassuring his European partners. Across the Eurozone, governments oppose a debt right off for Greece. The Netherlands has added its voice to that of Germany and France in insisting that Greece stick to its previous commitments. The Dutch finance minister, who heads Europe's own group of ministers, will be in Athens later this week for discussions. Both sides will try to stick to their positions, and it may come down to which will link first. Mr. Cyprus's speeches, perhaps, and all of branch extended from Athens and through hardline re-election rhetoric, but there is no sign that the new government will back down on its opposition to austerity. Knowing to defend Greek dignity, Mr. Cyprus said the renegotiation of the Greek debts would be in search of a viable, fair, mutually beneficial solution. He did not give any details. Mr. Cyprus promised realistic proposals for an economic recovery and vowed to fight corruption and tax evasion. His recovery plan was aimed at preventing deficits in the future. Mr. Cyprus' new coalition government, with the right-wing Greek independence, was sworn into office on Tuesday after sweeping to power on the pledge of ending years of austerity. The Greek government's chief economic spokesman, Euclid Cephalotos, has argued that it is unrealistic to expect Greece to repay its huge debt in full. The current bailout program of loans to Greece ends on February 28. There are still 1.8 BN euros of loans that could be disbursed to Greece if it meets the conditions imposed by the Troika. Economists estimate that Greece needs to raise about 4.3 BN euros in the first quarter of 2015 to help pay its way, with Athens possibly having to ask the IMF and Europe's own countries. The new government, the new government however, has announced that it is putting on hold major privatization projects, including the Port of Piraeus and the main power company, the Public Power Corporation of Greece. Five Things Syrup wants to change Cyprus faces great expectations. Unbowed.